they pretty much just need an offlaner. Uh, Omni Knight is still on the board. I was double checking that running through. I wonder if that's one of the heroes they're considering banning. Is Omni Knight big concern here? Ah, it's not bad. I mean, obviously, Warlock stun goes through it. It doesn't last the longest, and you just right click someone like you say with Venge Aura, you do a ton of damage. Still a good hero, but maybe MSS after that last game, after like the three missed heals after Bane, he's a little nervous about playing it again. But complexity, we don't have to worry about it. They just ban it out. It has been a comfort for DC again. This, this event at least, I don't know if that, but take away that option. Underlord, maybe another one. Ten seconds remaining. Complexity, though. Again, Five it's just like the last remaining. draft, though. It goes back just like we really know what position they even really on here, so hard to gauge. I feel like and they could go carry, could go support here. Disruptor's still in the pool. Disruptor's not bad in this game. If they do want to run the carry, Venge, support Warlock and Disruptor, but that'd be, you wouldn't really have a, a technical four hero. Spearbreaker. Still there. Spearbreaker. That'd be some real run at you shit. We just haven't seen Spearbreaker a lot. Didn't feel like he got nerfed that bad. It just seems to have fallen out of favor. You wait for one team to pick it and win a game, win an event with it, and there you go, back on the map. I know it's a hero that Z-Freak loves to play, too, but, again, that's even, just didn't even go a four here. They could. Vengeful in the four. Ricky. They are going to go oh. four. They go Ricky. Well, is that, I mean, it's still, Z-Freak plays Ricky, but we, I've actually seen Arteezy, Mason, a bunch of carry players been playing Ricky lately. I know it sounds weird, but hmm. it, it's been a thing. And, and pubs, yeah. at least. Obviously, Ten pubs seconds. are different than really? games, but... I mean, well, they've been winning games. Even in the FPL, like, a month ago, when it was still active, remaining. they were picking and it was winning. Especially with the new patch. I mean, pubs are a, a good way to actually see what we could possibly be seeing from some of these teams. There's no doubt in that. Events and stuff. I, uh... I believe you. I believe you're in the position one. But mainly because I want to see it. Yeah, I, I think it'll be a position one venge, but I, it's not completely out. Obviously, Z Freak, he'll just create havoc with that invisibility, never knowing where he's at. Your chicken will never be safe, but who knows? Butter still on the board? He is. Could they? Nah, yeah, I don't know. Offline clock is just so bad now. It just doesn't do what it used to do. And what it used to do was create space, and you can just do that with position four. Zeus, oh, maybe. Oh, they got Timbersaw. The MSS Timbersaw. This guy has carried many of Team NP games with this hero, so see what you can do in this game. And it is Z-Freak Ricky. Darn. Still entertaining in itself. I love it. Uh, I did not expect it. That's a hero I wasn't going to expect <laughs> to see that much this patch, especially with Bounty Hunter in the pool. Yes, yeah, his smoke screen is going to be pretty pretty nice this game, even against Timber Saw, preventing him. Okay. Et cetera. Set up with that. Burl done first. A lot different draft from complexity to this game, though. I mean, you have Chessie on Benjamin. You want to push some early towers. Same with Warlock, but then the other heroes, a little bit more farm heavy, but PL, I mean, even with BSJ, we saw him go like Treads, Aquila, Diffusal, Manta. Pretty early mid-game build, not really the late-game boots of travel. So expect Complexity to push early, and hopefully this Winter Wyvern has enough levels in Splinter Blast to push him out. He gets level 25, he just stuns people with Splinter Blast. Uh, well, I mean, if they, they take this game late enough, I mean, they I would say they have the late-game advantage here. Well, maybe not with Z-Freak on 4. That guy actually finds so much farm. It's it's mind-boggling me how much farming he finds in games. If, if four if people want to watch four positions, like I would suggest dog fights from IGV and Z Freak because they they play different styles. Z Freak more hard carry, dog fights more roaming. They're very interesting. I well, love watching Ricky's, different stuff. Yeah, Ricky specifically. It's funny you mentioned the name dog fights. I remember. Yeah, I was casting with you. That was at the EG house there with yeah, the NBL last year. And um, that was, he was the Ricky bounty hunter Earth Spear. Yeah. That guy, that guy did it all. He's kind of fallen off, but still, his rotations, like, you just watching game just times everything correctly. It's it's cool you can have same positions, but different players, like we talked about with even one position players, farm heavy and gank heavy kind of styles. Team that one TI, classic, uh, you know, 
flopping things around Matumba Man and Miracle right there, and they'll change between the Exactly. Paused it here. DC. Classic DC, but already. Nice nice and quick here. And damn, that was a go into instant unpause. Kyle's having none of that. <laughs> Travels ahead of them in the near future. They want to get this taken care of. One nothing right now. But this I mean, and versus Immortals, they've had a pretty decent record. I mean, to get into Dream League, they beat him in the open qualifiers. So, Cole, I mean, I still feel they're, they're a favorite in most of these NA tournaments. DC, got to make a name. I mean, you're, you're one of the top organizations in NA Dota, and you just have not had a good post-TI at all. Again, it goes back to this is the whole Abed situation and great player, but you could just tell, especially post-TI, so even, frankly, at TI, something was just feeling off the team so i i personally as as great as abed was the player i actually think this lineup is arguably better just overall from just mental state yep it is it is crazy to think dc was the highest placing na team this uh ti though <laughs> they, they, they won one game and well they, they beat out eg infamous <laughs> crazy here we go game number two z freak up here dagger on in but as you see dc's all on the bottom side of the map. <clears throat> what? Are they just like playing super defensive or what? I mean, they don't have the, the best level one on DC. I mean, Winter Wyvern and Clockwork pretty good at one, but the cores they have are pretty garbage at one. The battle begins. Because you don't really want to level like Whirling Death unless you're forced to in lane to get some last hits. You'd rather just get that reactive armor and stay in lane. And here we go. Z Freak's going to scout out that Quap is top, so they already know that's happening. And, well, that's an MSS middle. They know that now. And look at the rotations instantly. Well, see ya. I'm middle. Move. I love that, man. Cole's so quick because that Z, the Z Freak Scout just gets all of this out. Yeah, and again, the free TP. Sand King's able to come mid. The Phantom Lancer, unfortunately, did use his TP to pick up the Bounty Rune and go there. So he's going to have to walk up here, but not the biggest deal. He's going to miss one, maybe two. gonna open out. He went boots first, so no no over venom here. God have you have you played some Dota lately? Playing five positions so rough now, especially when your four wants to get boots, you have to get the chicken which is two hundred and then a ward. You just can't buy anything anymore. It feels super expensive it does. Koikva, I mean so now if you're the dire side, if you're T C here, do, do you force a change like do you send Timbersaw top or kind of just accept it? As I say this it looks like Timbersaw is coming top. And I would not doubt Moo gets level 3 middle, maybe, and then you re-rotate. Yeah, they rotate now. I would love to see Moo just stick here, get level 3 after this wave, and then rotate back up top. No, he's he's not even going to wait. Ah, see you later. <laughs> Have the We've seen this a lot. We've seen this a lot. I remember before you'd rotate. Oh, wait, no. Oh, well. Oh. Hey, fake bag went back. We, we used to see, you know, one rotation and people just stay. Lately, now people are just running wherever. When you have the best lane, you just keep following them. Now we see that, that, yeah, that heal bottom. We see how much it does. Just level one heal on Chessy. He's almost healed the full because of it. Tango, Shadow Word heal. I'm doing plenty. Mind games are real. Moo up at the top lane. Phantom Lancer makes his way back to the middle. See how that works out specifically in the CS side of things. Quick yeah, come all the way to the bottom lane. He's starting to get the blast hits now. Eventual Spirit 6 and 1. Up with that warlock again, or nearby. Top lane, they're on top of each other. They're both fine. They're both they're doing major damage to each other. <laughs> we look at the regen on each other. A shared tango and a healing salve. Mu has a full set of tangos and a healing salve, so he's a little bit happier with this. First blood. Ricky. Oh, that was the first blood bottom. First a... kill I missed tonight. And a, a super rotation. That's a, a clockwork winter wyvern queen of pain actually going down there to get that first blood. So now who are they going to put middle? Just, just MSS back middle and look at this. Moo? <laughs> I don't think so, mister. <laughs> and this might actually be a kill. Yeah. Caustic finale. Explode here. Flip he running at more him. Lance. <sighs> yeah, Come on, attack that reactive armor. It's not going to matter, though. Go Damn. down level 2 reactive. And health potion under the tower now. I mean, it's it's still it's not really a new thing anymore, but it's so good you can do that. 
And damn, that is that's that's a big kill. Moo following him and out. MSS, let's see where it runs. He's going back top. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, because now Limp's heading up here, but he's gonna realize shortly that's gonna be the case. But I mean, with the way things are looking right now, this seems like all this moving is definitely favoring complexity. Yeah, look at the top three CS, top four CS, three of them belong to complexity. Yeah, Bulba doing a good job roaming. He wants to be able to find Kyle here, possibly to kill. It'd be a lot easier if he was three, but. With Demon over here, they could still do it. Chessie, hugging the tower with him. The Wyvern, Boba, are nearby. Doing the pull there and farm the creeps in the jungle. But for now, Moo, he's leading the way once again, just like he did on Puck last game. Five and seven now, that cost plenty of farm. Not there. He has his full bottle he actually bought from the side shop, and now he's just gonna run up top again. Might as well. I mean, already got first blood on him. Just keep shutting down this MSS Timber, so he's a game changer. Bottom lane, Chessie. Doing fine. I mean, he's pretty much against a tri lane bottom, and he still has 14 CS. Demon just. I mean, that, that's always said the heal versus winner wyvern pretty much cancels his hero on the laning phase. Back in the middle lane with Z Freak. Yeah. Uh, they See you later, up. MSS. <laughs> I mean, at a point, this has to be not good, right? Like, he's literally just moving the whole time. And look at Moo already... Yeah, he's like a full almost two levels down, and Moo's already moving back middle. This guy actually does not care. <laughs> I just... I don't know. It, it just feels odd. But anyways, Chessie's in some trouble right here, by the way. He's in a lot of trouble. He's definitely dead. Shadow Ward Heal is not going to heal him up through that. Demon, though. Deep Freak on top of him. Puts the smoke screen down. They put it... Rev Ward, though, and now Z Freak, Boba. actually. He had a range, yeah, he's... Oh my god, they, they did the full rotation again. And that, oh my god, I actually, I actually can't, this is nuts. Moo just TP's up top again. So those are TP's down. Oh, is he gonna go for a kill? Nice stun on the timber chain. That center, got it off. The active armor is adding up. He does get a timber chain off, so he actually will survive. And Clockwork TP's in to make sure he stays alive. So yeah, they don't get the kill. But again, Timbersaw, he's, he's still going to be boxed out of any kind of farm. I mean, I guess the positive is that Phantom Lancer isn't necessarily taken off. He's still only level 4 himself. Absolutely. Yeah, PL's having a rough time and Timbersaw's having a rough time. But so's, our life still is having a decent time and Sand King's having a, a pretty good time. So it depends what teams actually want out of this. Uh-oh. We're in a little bit of trouble here. I don't think he can get killed here. Just running. Doesn't have Sandstorm yet, but it doesn't matter. Oh, actually, he's holding the point. It's, oh, no, no. Beauty. Doesn't have Sandstorm, but yeah. It does not matter in this case. Demon will just TP away. How's Quick Bud been doing? He's doing all right. He's almost level 5 as I say this. He could be in some trouble. Magic Missile out of range. He's something with up, or does he? There we go. Smoke screen. Magic Missile with the Wave of Terror. A couple more damage, but. Magic stick, 10 charges. Only reason he lives there. Quite the thing. And look at that. So much damage for Fatal Bonds. Fatal might have actually killed him. If it wasn't for that one, he'd... Back. It, it's... I don't know. Th this is a hard game to gauge, though, right? Because of all this movement going on. I mean, Lifestealer is doing pretty good. He's got face boots. Armlet here. Then on the other side, Sand King, he's actually going to Veil first. Very interesting. No no drums, no blink, going right into a Veil first. Time. Where did? Oh, never mind. Sorry. It's just, yeah. Uh, I think they're fine. MSS laning against Moo now, though. They're, they're actually okay with this, because, I mean, Caustic can only do so much once you react to armor stacks up. Yeah, look at Moo's actually TPing bottom. They're going to rotate the core. Oh, and actually, I thought Kyle was dead for sure, but no, he's not. He jukes with the trees, and speaking of that rotation from Moog, gets your perfect time with the Burl Strike. An easy turn kill onto Bulba as a result, so... Dave Swinamone, but... Or Kyle. More? But they get the turn kill. That's gone. Moo, or Chessy, pardon me, now we're just messing up names. He's got a Wraith Band, Wand Treads, does a ton of damage with the Wave of Terror first. DC, they... They need to do a little bit better here in the early game because, I mean, the, their power peak is pretty much in that mid game with a, a timber saw as well as a quap and Mason farming this bat, but 
No one's really farming great. We're getting some levels on heroes, but there is really no farm on any hero. When Sand King's the top CS and he hasn't been in one lane at all this game, it's definitely not the, the biggest farm fest. Not, not farm fest at all. Level wise, yeah. Sevens in this game. Yeah, going back to Timbersaw as far as the mid game, but again, how great is that going to be when he's having such a pretty slow start? Like, but. He hasn't, uh, Radiance top he has that once, but he, he's pushing the top tower right here right now. Fatal Bonds, oh, they ended up taking a nice. Back to the top lane, MSS, Fatal Bonds on him. Oh, pretty deep right here. Guess they, he knows that they're not going to be able to team. Killing yeah, Cozy. Can't really kill him here, and now he's, he's pretty safe. Unless they rotate the uh, Sand King as well, and he's just going to run through tower, he's fine. And it's gonna be the problem now. They don't really have much to deal with Timbersaw unless they rotate a bunch of cores because he did finally get some levels, which is very good for DC. What kind of impact is Z-Free continuing to have? He's middle lane, he actually has a Blightstone early on. Mason, for H, getting on top. Nice Probably block. Creations. That could be a kill. Strikes in, Spirit Lance, nice one use. Barely just limping away, doppelganger in though, and limping, limping. Yeah, that, was, that was a nice body block with all the illusions. You could actually see him block the hill so he couldn't run up it. Mason falls, it's, that's huge. Mason was the one trying to get farm as well as getting levels on this team, and they just take him out simply with, with two heroes. And those are two heroes you don't really think are going to be able to kill a, a lifestealer, right? A, a, a PL and a, and a Ricky, just good positioning. Man. He now back at the bottom, just positioning himself. Oh, and here we go. They're, they're going to do a super aggressive play here. They have a sentry, they see Z-Freak. That's a tough kill to get, though. There's Chessie. There's the going. Chessie, he'll swap a Z-Freak right here, puts the smoke screen down, but the sonic wave went out before it connected. Chessie's definitely dead. Move comes in late. Channel the epicenter, no stun to stop in Mason. Rage up in three seconds, but it won't matter actually. He'll be fine as well. So the turn kills for complexity not there. Well played by DC. This is what they want. Yeah, they, get a, they get a kill on a core. MSS is just farming up middle right now. He's level eight, Alden. Lem goes for the chicken, can't get it. And now you feel so bad as a, a PL versus a timber saw without defusal blade, you, you actually just don't do damage to him. That now well on the way to a bloodstone, of course. It's now, it's gonna start, but he's picking up. I mean, he's third overall net worth. So yeah, really, it actually has turned around quite a bit. Really, all that movement is paid off in front of DC. In fact, soon enough, that though, MSS got yep. a timber chain off, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't see. Yeah, even with three heroes middle, I mean, it's three melee heroes against the timber. So, you what are you gonna do? Smoke screen him and then attack him? The Ricky does like five damage to him. Best value. Full spirit. Being complexity especially, it, it almost feels like we're gonna see a Helm of the Dominator build on Chessie right here, but that's not the biggest start. Just like really every hero in this game. All he has is power treads really to work with. Yeah, of course. Up lane. DC needs to be careful here. Bulba, he wants that level six zone. Here we go, there's actually a Life stealer inside of Quake by again. Aggressive Quake for plays coming in. Battle does have the chaotic offering. Find themselves in a fight. Z freak. They bumped into each other, but I don't think Demon was looking. He would have seen he went a little off path. Maybe, maybe they did suspect something. Trying to bait it, but no. In case you mentioned Life Stealer still inside Queen of Pain, but one of those one of those things of how long does he wait here? Maybe now? Yeah. On eventual, Jesse, nothing to swap to. Maybe Z Freak coming over, but it's not going to be in time. Yeah. They won't kill Jesse, so again, good patience from DC. Get another kill. The aggressive quad plays are working out until Bulba gets his level 6. They need to get an early gem, though. I'm not really sure who can get it, Demon or Bulba. It's going to be tough for them to like get that farm, but this Ricky just roaming around the map gives them a ton of vision. We see it's 4 4. Complexity still up in gold, even after these core kills. A lot of chaotic offering is up, ready to go. It's one of those abilities that 
Ely. Want to get use out of it sooner than later. Boo. Blink just yet, but he needs a blink when he burrow strikes right in. He canceled the epicenter before it went off. That was a misclick right there. In comes the Sonic Wave in response. Got the ultimate activated by Ricky trying to stay alive a little bit longer, but they hit Sand King and now Z Freak. I think they can see him, so he should be fine, but yeah, that was a misplay by Moo. Hits him with the Sari, yeah, all he had to do is channel, get that one more hit for Caustic, and even a, maybe not a free kill, but a one for one trade is still better than a one for zero. And Mason now, it feels like 13 minutes, pretty late armlet, but then you look at the farm on the rest of the game, he's the top farm in the game. This is such a, a slow paced game with all those rotations we saw. Oh, and they know. They know Z-Freak's middle, though, because he, they shot Kyle cast heal, but it's not on anything. So smart play, whoever pinged that out, I actually didn't see. Coming in, maybe with the sentry? No, no sentry. Is it dust, even? They do have dust on clockwork. Want to be going. Find the opportunity. And we see now, actually, yeah, MSS is following around limp now. Uh, after all this, Limp like finally keep it away from middle to bottom and MSS just follows him. Mason could be in trouble. Does not stick around though. Something Radiance gave it away. Oh, cool. That. Look at that vision they have uh, top lane. They have a, a super defensive board and an offensive that spots out TPs and then another one in lane. They actually, they just want to defend this top lane in the jungle. Yeah, Limp, he's going to run after Koikva. Good amount of damage, but enough to keep chasing. Think of that though, Limp. Diffuse the blade is he's gonna go right into it here. So he's on the Yasha Mancer earlier on BSJ's Phantom Lancer. Limp, he just wants the defusal. Bottom lane, Moose set. Yeah, Moose is setting up. Here we go. But Kyle's in death. death. Oh, he's trying so hard. That battery assault though prevents him from using the chaotic offering off to the side. We got Winter's uh, Wyvern we're using the Arctic Burn on a Ricky. Off the ultimate though. And you hear the epicenter going off over here. MSS gets a good chunk of damage from that, but not enough fit. Follow up with Finn Demon. Going to fall in the lip. Not near pretty late. Yeah, so he's being ran down by Mason. That Reed is going to be wearing off. Sitting on top. Does swap out with Limp, but he goes down. Ricky falls to the back. Nice pro circuit three heals though. And Limp is still cutting down, but the Sonic Wave eventually comes out to take out the Phantom Lancer. And now Moo's in trouble. DC's going to clean up. Triple kill for Koikva. The Queen of Pain. Damn, that is... That, that's just... That's Radiant huge. And they get all those kills. Moo still has nothing. He went Veil first Sand King. Moo is just... Always willing to go something different on this hero. And it really doesn't pay off. Perfect fight by DC. MSS didn't even really take damage that fight. Now we see the problem. Until PL and Ricky get a Diffusal Blade, they have nothing for Timbersaw. They legitimately cannot kill him. Yeah, just feels really weak right now as far as damage output. Again, you mentioned the Veil pickup at least. I mean, sure, if he gets the Veil with a nice epicenter, then yes, that could be some oh, good bottom damage. Oh, bottom Z-Freak. Trouble, the dust is on him. So you don't want to go too deep though, you pull up. Him to use the tricks of the trade. Dyer's middle tower Takes. is under attack. The dust is gone, Dyer and it's fine. But still, just the pressure on the map. Ricky now has to be careful. Can't just roam around wherever he wants. Always has to be looking out in Foikva. He's getting very close to that uh, Orchid. It's only like a thousand, a hundred away. Yeah, it seems like the early Orchid's pretty popular build at this point on Queen of Pains. And uh, TPN, here we go. Oh. Just curse on eventual spirit moves. Attack him as a result. Eventually gets out of it, though. Bro strikes away. Chester, though, he's in a horrible spot. We're trying to run after it. Swaps in. There's a chaotic offering. First one of the game. Take a plexi. Capitalize now. They are going to lose Chester. They take out Winter Wyvern, though. Limp, he's having to go over the ledge. Did not want to commit further into this fight. So the chaotic offering doesn't seem like getting the most value out of it. We're going to block him now, but Kyle's on the run. Probably just going to be run down. And it'll end up being a two for one. Including the chaotic offering kill on top of it. So yeah, DC definitely winning that exchange there. Yeah, I don't know. This this Tamara Sal Moo did such a good job. He was like two levels up on MSS early, and then once MSS gets three levels in that reactive armor, there's just nothing even the Caustic Finale can do. Mason, we he was the most farmed early, still the most farmed. Man, I don't know. This is this early game lineup from Complexity is is starting to fail. Yeah, Timbersaw, that level 10 talent of 25% experience gain, so... 
he's obviously taking advantage of that. I mean, he's now the top level in the game. After all that running back and forth, back and forth, sitting at level four for a while, it, it just doesn't matter, clearly. Credit to him as a player, and great job. And he's the hero. And he's got the Bloodstone now just around the corner. Oh, and this uh, a full orc is going to come out on Quap after he kills this wave bottom. He has it now once the chicken is back, and it's going to be big. I mean, you, you can just find Kyle. It's a free solo kill. You get it on the PA in a team fight. He's dead. I mean, pretty much good on every single hero on Complexity. Damn, this is what looks so good. I, I, I mean, maybe, maybe they did rotate too much. They didn't get limp enough farm in the early game on that PL by they kept rotating him, and he is so far behind now. Going for this. Look at this catch up, Roach. If they somehow pull this one off, props to them. It looks like. Oh no. But can they get her in time? I don't know if they can. They're TPing in. Oh, they're going. Look at. Close. There we go. It's, it's up to this quab. Where is he? They can still take this fight even if they kill Roach. There we go. Look at the tip of the hook. Not very late. Aegis is picked up by Lim, but will it really matter the big picture? Move. He has an epicenter still. Doing him a quick one. The Masonic wave to the face. They kill Lim, by the way. And pop the in. As King goes down. Back up here. Swap in. Demon's going to fall. MSS. Miss him into the FK. Let's drop him, though. Maybe. Lim sitting on top of him with the Spear Lance. Beating the illusions. Jesse also standing against Gunner Man's face, but he'll eventually go down. And now Lim's in trouble. Can he top King? No, he cannot. He'll fall. Double kill. For Quakefa coming out, now Kyle's in trouble as well. So it was a very risky Rojan. And even with them getting the Aegis, it does not matter. DC just wipes them clean. Yeah, good rock. That's what I figured. I mean, a lot of the times you see them, they're going to take Roshan and then you kind of back off. They know they have the farm in the team fight right now to even take him down twice. And Demon with the huge ulti there pops the, the Aegis early. Nice, nicely done by him. Everyone on DC is doing their job this game. No one, No one's weak linking it. Very good team effort indeed, and 16 to 9 hero kill lead, 2,000 net worth lead. I mean, if you're looking from that perspective, really, uh, you know, only a thousand net worth lead now. I, I guess it's not like out of control by any means. It's definitely still a, a, a winnable game for complexity, but something about it feels that uh, now the big key items early on, especially Phantom Lantern getting the fusel blade, right? Like that's that's the start of now complexity being able to do something here in this game. That's nice, but it feels like, I mean, because it's only 2k on DC, but a lot of that net worth is on Sand King with the Veil, and what is that Veil actually accomplishing? That feels like a lot of empty net worth, honestly. Yeah, when did this whole trend of not getting weak on Sand Kings become, like, I, that feels so Metal weird to me strong. still. Chessie goes down with the bomb. Chessie is just getting destroyed this game. 70 kills by DC, and seven of them on Chessie. Yeah, not even going for the blink eventually. He's going four staff. I mean, he has that now. A little bit easier. And it's just, I mean, you get it because the clockwork. In case anyone gets trapped in, you just push him out. I mean, still. I'm not a fan of, oh, top lane. Can they get him? Good. Oh, nah, no vision. But that vision. Not MSS. 400 or about 200 gold now from getting that bloodstone hood bloodstone and then just even with that defusal blood just so hard to kill him because he'll have that wand charge kyle goes down to a solo bulba wow man this is spiraling a little bit out of control for complexity right now dc switches it up and it almost feels like complexity switches their draft to top lane though nice four staff Going back in, they can turn this. Oh, but the barrel strike just a half a second late. Swap. There's a swap. Oh, magic missile this time. It is in time, and now he's out of mana because of that Defusal smoke screen reactive armor, of course, making this difficult. But finally, the boss is down. This is still Strix Doctor. He's still, uh, he didn't really care. He gave away 372 gold to Limp, but that's it. He lost, I believe, two gold. He bought the Ring of Health and didn't lose anything. So, I mean, he's not happy he died, but he's not too sad. Well, I think the biggest thing, too, the he didn't have his blood, so he actually buys his blood, so after he dies right there. Charges. No charges, no gold. And here we go, smoking. This is a... I like, I like Cole. They're finally they're finally trying to do something on the map. Go for a gank into this tier two top, and 
I'm sure Demon knows something's up. He's like, why is Chessy this far pushed up? I know he's been suiciding a lot this game, but something's not right. <laughs> this seems a little ambitious, but just gonna hide. Black City waiting patiently nearby. Unless somebody walks up here, although Bolo's TPing in now. And Dyer does scan them in the area, so they have a good idea that somebody's here. Oh, that's a creep. Oh. Last shielder jumps out, amazing goal for Chess, but there's that Burl Strike dump. Village Discord comes down, as well as the Kata Copper. Fulba is in trouble with a kill. The Vengeful Spring in the backline. Demon the Witch's Curse saving it for the time being. Tricks of the Tree does finish off Clockwork, though. Back here, Lip, he's being run down by Mason. The open wounds on him. Doppelganger, not going to be in time. That Orchid is just doing too much work. Double kill for Koikba. Yet again, could be another hat trick here. He somehow escapes. Not going to be the case. And that is three Bloodstone charges for the Timber Slaughter in that fight, and all you lost was Bulba, who uh, maybe deserved to, to die after that hook shot, but <laughs> I mean, they take a DC, they're just comfortable with what they're doing. Oh, they're, they're hitting their, their good peaks here. Now the lead is becoming more of a reality. 4,000 net worth lead is going to be a little bit bigger after this tower kill. Oh, uh, maybe quick, but go for it. it. Nope, that's awkward. Huh. Did he mean to swap Ricky, maybe, and they go for the stun? I guess that could be possible. Radiant's top tower yeah, I'm denied. not really sure. That's just cold playing, cold tilting a little bit, possibly. <laughs> yeah, no, look at Mason. I love it. He he had Desto queued up after Armlet, but he went Echo Saber next. We haven't see, really seen Echo Saber on Life Stealer in in a little bit now. A lot of people are just going Armlet Desolator, maybe even Sanjin Yasha, but that extra burst damage, I, I like it this game. Freak sitting at the top, playing again his own defusal. Get in there, 1500 gold saved up. Gonna continue to scout MSS, but it worked once in this kind of mid game now. As far as being able to it seems like he, that, that's his job right now. See where the timber saw is. Try to set up a kill. Does have a couple of teammates now making their way over here. That's fair. Warlock. Sanking, sanking though again, no blink. With a sentry ward. And oh he knows he saw him at the very edge of that sentry ward. And this says like, wait, what the hell? Well, Fulba. Shot ready. Infest inside. Middle lane, maybe catch the limp here. High ground off of here. Just use they will find somebody else. That'll be the bench. Well, they just drop him so quickly. That Desolator now finished with the Echo Saber as you talked about. Damn, that was good. Yeah, he just... Yeah, uh, I'm not really sure what King Complexity do. What do they have besides Chaotic Offering that really does anything through the Nexus Rage or anything to do with the Timber Saw? It just seems like a, a very nice draft right now from DC. And after after that Bench Warlock opening, I was like, oh, Drow, maybe get some more pushing lineup and... I don't know, get a kill on Demon, but... Why, why is Demon in the middle of bottom lane? That pushed up. Here comes Koikva. Yep. Maybe they think he's alone. He's not. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Koikva yeah. overestimating what he can oh do. And now Mason's in trouble because of this. This is a big turning point for Complexity if they can capitalize. Doppelganger forward. Mason still running away. Spear Lance comes out. MSS is going to join it here very late. They do kill the last dealer, though. And now they're going to turn on the clock. Can him kill this while MSS? He needs to be careful not to be another victim. That's five heroes that are dead all of a sudden. Four DC, or four heroes, excuse me, but still, complexity. Well, that was kind of a gift wrapped up for them. Yeah, I... I mean, just let Demon die. He died out of position, then you try to help him out, you jump in. That is not what you want to do as a Queen of Pain now that he has Diffusal Blade. You just blinked in to a Phantom Lancer who's level 18. That, that definitely wasn't the point at all. That's one of those cases, I mean, sure, Cole played it right by going in there, but DC, like you said... Pretty much wrapped him with free gift. Phantom Lancer now getting very close to level 20 mark. Point from there, but of course the Eye of Scotty also has been queued up as he finishes his Manta style. So he really is that strong mid-game build now. And again, I continue to look at it. Even though the FD, DC was only really ever up by about 5,000 network. And now it's down to 1,000. So it continues to be a game where, where Digital Chaos is definitely not have a... Uh, had really any comfortable point in this game when you really look back at it. Quite complexity continues to hang in here. 
just do enough to do so, but Limp now leading the way overall, and I don't know what Phantom Lancer can look like. Mid to late game stage. Concerned about that for sure. Timbersaw, level 20 now. Levels are coming pretty quick in this game. Farm very slow, levels very quick. 15 strength. I actually haven't seen a lot of 10% cooldowns on Timbersaw. He goes for the strength. A lot of HP there. 300, I believe. Plus status reduction and all that with strength now. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. King. Sand King finally has a blink. Good to see. Moom, of course, in the bottom lane, joins the rest of the team. Yeah, the vengeful carry has felt a, a little underwhelming for sure, but th the thing with the vengeful carry is that he still has Wave of Terror, he still has his aura, right? So, like, even if he's not necessarily dishing out the most right click, he's still providing, in this case, for the Phantom Lancers. Exactly. I mean, he's actually getting a little bit of farm now. Even with that, uh, just the four staffs against Cogs, very good. You, all you need to do, provide Wave of Terror, Armor, four staff from a Cogs, and I mean, you've done your job, even as Vengeful, you've tanked a ton of ganks, got your PL to farm, and that's the one hero you need to get farm. Uh, Roshan's up, you know, oh, MSS, he was just coming up to farm, and could be regretting it. No. You already see that status resistance, but no, they're going in, Diffusal Blade plus smoke streaks. Oh, hook shot in the face, trying to slow them down. He sees picture of the freedom background from Ricky, but the blast coming out. Chaotic offering to use back here. Coin was locked down by an MSS. He jumped a little bit too deep. Nice winter's curse, though. And Warlock is going to end up falling, but so does the Timber Saw. This lift on Phantom Lancer. He is really strong right now and showing that off. Demon will go down as well. So they get two heroes to CC, but a big stun from Moon right there. The epicenter on top. Queen of Bingo's down. 70 seconds no flyback. Mace is in trouble. This is going to be a complete wipe in favor of complexity at this point. Let's Mace can somehow get out. He absolutely cannot. Double kill for Moo. It's space created. Sure, we'll call it that. For complexity. And they can just push the base here, can't they? They can lift it down now, and yeah, they have a rock to take it up. Man, it's a scout. I. I, I have no clue what DC is doing. Complexity, just a good smoke gank in, and then the DC continues to watch one hero die, and then they come in one by one to help him. So, I mean, I, I would not say Complexity played a great game this game, but DC, they are just... as well, man. This is just a, a very strange game of Dota with all the lane swapping and everything going on, and Limp's been really the, the, the one playing nicely this game. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I, I do think the early game, again, DC played very well. I mean, besides that late in the game, it's a safe game, you can tell me look. But, yeah, overall, it's been a fairly sloppy game of sorts, but complexity getting the better, and, and it's both got no chance to react. That's not an easy road to kill. She's now with the Aegis. DC is, yes, you're close, but not, uh, not close enough to make any play. So, he just picked up by Limp, and now you have that to deal with. She's, I'm guessing, Venge. And now, I mean, what can DC do? They don't have a gem. Moo's holding on to their gem. They can get complete vision of the map. Look, they're going to rotate in, kill this ward right here. They don't have vision on the Ricky, who's actually farmed. And we were talking about Z-Freak as a four position, easily the top of the supports. And just to defusal blade on this hero is all you need. 5,000 net worth lead now. Complexity. Talk about a swing, man. 10 minutes. Point in this game. Completely the other direction, Ventral Spirit around with the Warlock Radiant's over here. About defending the bottom lane, Limp boarding in. Stopping your way. And keep MSS. I got Bane right here with the, the first ball from the fire team. Like anyway, it's doing well. Jesse, can we jump back here? He pops his keys, he heals on outside. Wave comes out, bounces back half life, and he's eventually going to fall. Took a lot of work, though. Demon does get picked up, tricks of the tree. Hoping to do so. There's the freak looking to come back in. Moon jumps in with an epicenter. Hits a couple of heroes. Force down force. Gets off clockwork. Mason with that rage mitigates some of it, but will it be enough now against Limp? Probably not. Again, man fighting just not going to work. Mega kill streak now for the Phantom Lancer. Another one fight for complexity. They, if Moo gets a blink stun, they might be able to catch him, but no, Timbersaw will just get out of there. Looks like a one fight from DC once again. They lose both supports and a life stealer. I think Limp's just too far now. We talked about the Timbersaw, he's so far they can push, and then he suicided one time bottom with the rest of his team. And This PL could just go farm this Ancient. 
And then, yeah, he pings it. He's like, oh, that'll give me. No, he's just going to sell something and get it. And now he has a full eye. Oh, my God. He has 35 armor and 2.6k HP. He's, he's jacked. Yeah, you're right, though, about kind of like pinpointing moments in games where things may just may went wrong and went the other way. And you're, that bottom lane is all about Demon dying. It's like, okay. Then Queen of Eight jumped in with Life Stealer trying to make some big plays. It did not go as planned. They lost ultimately four heroes down there. That seems like that's where things have definitely shifted uh, in favor of complexity. Yeah, I, I mean, they were so confident. I mean, we saw the, the Queen of Pain Lifestealer games early in the game, and that's when, like, they don't have stuns or items, it works out, but when you blink into a, a, a PL with the Fusel Blade, that's a little bit different of a story. Oh, he's just, he's just gonna do some unhealable damage here. Oh, he's going in, he has an Aegis, I forgot. Yeah, he's, he's not concerned at all. He's a tanky, mentioning a strategy, but he's not a Some more clear, though, MSS does get a Sheba, this will be nice. Middle lane, what's going on here? Trying to find the screen. I mean, Zeefreak knows he's here, but can they really get the jump on him and do something? Very safe. Bro. Essentially split pushing right here. Look at these, look at these levels. MS is going to be like the first one level 25, 33 minutes, but Moo and Limp right behind him. It's not, it's not like Timbersaw gets a great level 25. He hits that timber chain range, but is that really good? He's been, Moo's been on point, right? He timber chains, gets stunned after he throws it. It, it just, I mean, eight percent whirling death. I've never, I've actually never seen anyone get it. People talk about it. Oh, middle. Mason. Mason made a hell of a reaction. I'll say that with the rage, but obviously they have ways to go through it both. In fact, they used both chaotic offering and the swap. But now, I mean, they, they don't mind. They don't have the rock now for initiation, but they have the rock to push. That rock, look, I don't really like to look at that rock. It looks kind of wimpy. <laughs> it does not look at anything, I agree. Gonna go for the rack. Yeah, man, look at MSS. It's, it's just mana. Just, just going, going, gone. Soul ring still, but... Stop here. Create some illusions for lamps. Spear lamps forward. They kill the range track. Mainly still up. Life Shield for another 45 limp again. He has the Aegis, remember? So, fall back initially. For the Shiver going in, Demon. He's gonna be charged up with the Scourge that committed. And the Warlock will die shortly after, though. Kyle manages to live. So, going back to the melee rack now. There is backdoor protection up, though. So, not a free rack point. MSS, oh no, man is gone. And now he's gonna be stunned out. He does have those 25 attacks to reactive armor, though. So. That's just fine. Sonic Wave coming out. 13 seconds for Lifestealer, by the way. Moose does do late. PKP fought by Koi Clutching to the trade in the back line. Pulls him out of anything. Bulba with the Cox. He's just going to get auto attacked down by Jesse. And now Lynch sitting on top of MSS. Oh, that's and up, he people. Three plays. Lifestealer just came coming back up, but they're going to kill the Terrasaw. He has a buyback if he wants it. And they're managing to hold here somewhat. Without the Aegis, I don't know if you can... And that upheaval we saw, uncancelled MS a PL with all those illusions just attack him while upheaval was on him. That was not good. And Siege unit almost kills down the melee rex, but they just bag out there like, we just won a, a huge fight, there's no reason to go. We already have the, the ranged barracks at least. This could take the shrine. That'll make Roshan a lot easier, and that's a refresher shard next Roshan. That's the third one. Still a while. Two minutes before. Potentially, yeah, so a little bit longer, of course, but you look kind of start look through the inventory now, all these heroes, and yeah, Z Freak I mentioned earlier, I mean, it took a while for him to get the defusal, he finally got it, now he has a sacred relic picked up, so he's actually, wait, is he going nullifier? But he's going, right? Yeah. I guess. Huh. Yeah, that's what I was saying, huh. <laughs> Uh, I like it. Uh, he can solo kill a Queen of Pain now, right? You jump on him, can't force staff or uh, BKB away. It's yeah. pretty damn good now. I mean, yeah, if you somehow nullify him under smoke screen, he's, he's dead. Especially with Limp there. I like it. I think it honestly is just for that one hero. They haven't seen it yet, so excited for that purpose alone. Limp almost 25. What do you go? I have doppelganger cooldowns. Nice. Or do you go the critical strike? Does it? It affects your illusions, right? I remember I was talking to somebody, and that's the reason you get it. 
Or no, this is. I honestly. There's no can't way. Say that away, but. I have no clue. I swear someone said it, but you know, talking to people, you can't. You don't know who you can trust. <laughs> who actually knows? Yeah. One way or the other, but practice. Gonna say for sure. If it does work on illusions, then yeah. I mean, you have to get. Yeah, but Ooh. I, I don't know. Again, with the fusel blade against the. Uh, Timber saw five second cooldown. We we're talking about the Sunder five saying doppelganger massive amounts of illusions every five seconds. It's not too shabby. Actually, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not then. They are 25. I mean, that's a good thing. You should have to think about 25 cool, like 25 talents. They, they shouldn't, one shouldn't be booty like the Timber saw one. Speaking of that, Timber saw, he's basically there and just needs a couple. Range? Several heroes level 24 sinking as well. Oh my goodness. Double damage on Ricky with the Null Fire. He can actually solo kill the Queen of Pain as support now. Null of Fire double damage. He's doing about 400 a hit, and let's see. Here we go. It's an example of it, perhaps. This actually would have been so hype. Second. Wait. Oh, he's blinking for. Oh my god. Go. Uh, Look uh, at this. Uh, One more. Uh, Look. <laughs> he actually solo killed. Like, oh my god. What an item. Item plus double damage. And you, you have a clop. He has buyback. And they know Z Freak's not there now. So he may buy back and try to fight this metal. He doesn't want to buy back unless they go for a second Rax, I don't think. I mean, you kind of have to. Move. He's going in. Uh, they already used Winter's Curse, so Moo's kind of distracting. He's going to the Rax. I guess you don't have to, but it's... Yeah, let's yeah, go for two. I think you might now. Oh, look at this. Oh my god. With Chessy, he, he got the 15% Vengeance Horror damage. You can just see the increase. Well, he just has this point. The Attic Offering comes out. No, Mason already at half-life. Getting low. Curse of the Drake going to be activated. Ricky in the midst of the Fly Koi Cutter and throwing the Sonic Wave. The, uh... Orchid is going to be taken off immediately by the Manta style. They did pick off Life Stealer throughout B, giving a quite quick level 4, but unable to really do too much with that right there. Meanwhile, Ben back on his epicenter on a bulb. A nice save, though, with a cold embrace from the Winter Wyvern. The Split Blaster and the Auto Attack help to finish off from the Sand King. And Queen of Pain keeping a distance. No fire was on her, but it didn't matter. Ricky goes down, but you know what? Making the distraction space created once again, we'll say, as they take out the top set of racks here. But a 2 for 2 trade. Yeah, and this is. Yeah. You just go back and look at that one fight again, bot. It's crazy. You really can't pinpoint. They're going back in, though. Chessy, PKBs. And, oh, I missed that. <laughs> but they figure this is kind of a shot to make something happen, but it's a little risky. Oh, Jesse? he's stuck. <laughs> he's in a bad spot, yeah. He tried to GP. No, that's late. That uh, wasn't going to work. Limp? Yeah, needs to get the hell on out of here. Maybe not. He's my friend. Uh oh. Charge is in. That's a kill. That's a dieback. He did get the crit and he actually crit him. 422. Just enough to get him and. Damn. I don't know. Limp. I mean, people. Uh, I think a lot of a lot of people talked about him. This is going to be Limp's year. One of the, one of those players and he's sure having it. They've qualified to a bunch of minors. Haven't got to the majors yet, man. Those are the big ones, but definitely shown his worth. Yeah. Like, I still the Dream League. So. There wasn't their go, but long season, Grant. Long season. Do it with flair. Hey, <laughs> That's not right. Limp, though, yeah, level 25, cleaning up the jungle. 3,400 gold saved up on him. So, yeah, I mean, DC, they, that, was a, that was a decent fight considering. Uh, losing Queen of Pain after a buyback, not the best. It still means they're down two sets of racks as well, so it continues to be the unfortunate case of. Falling further behind. This is redundant. Ags on Timber saw also a second chakra coming up. Oh, Damage. No. Yash on Ricky. Oh, Bulba. I think he has to wait for the battery soul, and there it is. He's looking for anyone else, so. Courier? Oh. He a spirit vessel, maybe? No, he's gonna. <laughs> He'll get on the back, so. Dyer's crew has been killed. Oh, uh, now Bulba and that's that smoke up. Let's see if he's playing. Oh, can he get the Roshan steal demon? Go, go, go! He's trying, demon trying so hard, he cannot do it. Yes, he yep. gets the Aegis snatch right there. Well played, Bulba. 
Well enough time. They were just all spam flicking, I'm sure. I mean, Demon's gonna die, of course, but who got what? It... Oba stole the refresher shard and then used it and died. <laughs> but he got it, I guess. He literally used it and died. I watched the green. Huh. Okay. And so then got cheese, cheese on Demon as well. They literally got everything somehow. All they lost was the, they didn't get the gold, which actually they might have needed for these buybacks, but I just <laughs> looking like the game. They're just gonna push in right here. See what kind of defense we have, but Sand King now, he has the Agonims. My man is done halfway across the map, and there you go. Yep, it's right there. There's that no fire, and Damn. down goes Flop again. No buyback. Got to cooperate. Beginning of the end is here for Flexity. Yep, people. Yep, the epicenter now being channeled out. Mason just inside, staying alive a little bit longer. GG's called, though. And Complexity moving on to Feast of Mortals here. The finals of the NA Summit Equal. You just see it. I mean, this, this is complex here, right? This is why, this is why they're favored even against teams like EG, OG when they go to events. Insanely good, and they they win games like this. Like they lose the early game, pretty pretty hard, I would say.